Hello, 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 hello everyone and welcome to another session of um, Rising Above the Average. I am your host, Alunda Silva and I'm so pumped and I'm so happy to be here with you today. You know why I'm always so excited when I'm doing these lives? Because I get to share with you my heart. Yeah? I get to share with you my heart. I get to share with you the things that I've learned, the things that I'm learning. And I just get to commune with people um, with like-minded, you know, minds, I would say. People like-minded like you who are on their growth, you know, who are on their evolution. You know, I believe that the best thing you can do for yourself in life is to grow, to get better every single day. As a matter of fact, when I wake up every single day, I ask myself, how can I grow today? How can I be better? What can I learn today? These are the questions that I always ask myself every single day. And as a matter of fact, I set a reminder so I could ask myself because, you know, things happen and you get busy here and there. But I always want to remind myself of why I'm here, what I want to achieve and what I want to help others with. So I'm always so excited when I'm here with you. Hey, high five, virtual high fives and virtual hugs to everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. As you know, my name is Alun and I am your girl. I'm always pumped to be here sharing with you how you can stand above the average. As a matter of fact, this series is called Rising Above the Average. And what do I mean by rising above the average? Just in case you're new here and it's your first time, you know, um, hooking up to this channel and it's the first time seeing me and seeing some of us here, I just want to tell you that Rising Above the Average is just a series where I share with you some practical, you know, techniques to live a better life, whether it is in your finances, in your emo emotional life, in your spiritual life, or whatever you want to achieve. You know, my aim here is to, is to give you ideas that will help you achieve your goal, whatever your goal is in life. Because what I've discovered through my own experience is that many of the universal principles, you can apply them in any area of your life. My goal here is to share with you things that I learned from my mentors, those that are alive right now and those that have gone before me. You know, like today we'll be talking about, you know, a Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. I love Napoleon Hill. And I guess every success-minded person loves Napoleon Hill. And I'm just going to share with you a few things from that book. And that's what I do every week on Saturdays, 11 a.m., BSD British Standard Time because it's summertime here. I just share with you a few things I learned from either books or even from my own experience that I think will help you um achieve your own goals and your objectives in life, you know. And we today we're gonna start by you know the drill. And if you don't know the drill, you we usually start these sessions by asking what we have learned. Because as I said, I believe in continuous growth. And I believe that the best thing you can do for yourself is to continuously grow. Right? I love what Tony Robbins says that if you don't grow, you die. There's nothing like being stagnant. The moment you stop growing, that's it for you in any area of your life. And you might even feel that way like the moment you stop reading for example you start forgetting some words and your sentence becomes clumsy and stuff like that so i always like to start these sessions you know sharing what i have learned this week and i would love to hear from you what have you learned this week and please feel free to write in the chat box in the comments below and share with me what you've learned whether you're joining me here live or you're watching this after just feel free to share what you have learned that particular week with me and this week i've learned a lot of things and one thing i've learned is self-confidence how to grow and maintain i mean if your self-confidence is at the top how do you maintain that and if not how do you grow your self-confidence and i believe that you can always get better and better and better at self-confidence you know what i struggled with self-confidence for many years like who else am i the only one here please don't leave me alone who else has struggled with self-confidence i have started struggled with self-confidence and boy it was hard because you know without self-confidence you can't you don't even have the drive to go after your dreams you don't have the drive to do what is necessary for you to achieve 
your goal so what i learned this way was self-confidence how to keep and maintain your self-confidence and i'm going to be sharing with you a few a few things you can do to improve your self-confidence in any area of your life whether it's at work whether it's in your own private personal life whether it's just for your own self-esteem so you can believe that you can actually achieve your goals maybe you want to start a business but you just don't have the self-confidence for it you've been procrastinating procrastinating and it's been 10 years or more maybe you want to do something but you just don't have the self-confidence but today we are going to break that pattern and we are going to start afresh we're going to boost your self-confidence but one thing i would like you to promise me look promise me this promise me that you're willing to do the work yep to build your self-confidence will require you to do things that you are not comfortable with that's how life is it will require you to do things um, beyond your present paradigm and you have to be willing to do that so I'm going to share with you a few things that you can do to improve your self-confidence but before we get right into it you know your girl would like to know what have you learned this week what have you learned this week come on now chat me chat me down there and let me know what you've learned this week I have learned the importance of self-confidence and and that's me to me what is self-confidence to me self-confidence is believing in myself believing in my own abilities to achieve the dreams that i want to achieve believing that i can do it you know with the help of the universe with the help of um like-minded people with the help of my mastermind group with the help of people who love me people that are in my world that love me and support me believing that you can achieve your dreams with the help of people around you because I believe that you never achieve your dreams by yourself but you need to believe in yourself first because even if you have the supportive people and you don't believe yourself it'll be hard for you to take actions but if you believe in yourself and you have the supportive people around you you are going to go far so today I'm going to be sharing with you from think and grow rich by Napoleon Hill and we're going to be sharing on page I mean my version of the book I know there are different copies but my version says page 86 and it's self-confidence formula I told you I told you that today we're gonna to be sharing on how to improve your self-confidence so Napoleon Hill shares with us five tips to improve your self-confidence and without any further blah 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 we are gonna get right into it come on now let's go so firstly he says I know that I have the ability to achieve the object of my definite purpose. Oh my God, look at the way he started. He says, I know that I have the ability to achieve the object of my definite purpose in life. Therefore, I demand of myself persistence. Come on now. And everyone says persistence. Type in the comment below persistence. Continuous action towards its attainment. And I hear and now promise to render such action. So this is this is self-confidence formula. And these are things that I recommend that you say to yourself every single day, especially if you need or you feel like you need a boost. You need um, <clears throat> you need some help to kind of improve your self-confidence. So secondly, he says, I realize the dominating thoughts of my mind will eventually reproduce themselves in outward physical action and gradually transform themselves into physical reality. Therefore, I will concentrate my thoughts for 30 minutes daily upon the task of thinking of the person I intend to become. You know how important, you know, we, we understand the concept of visualization. It's so important that you think upon the person that you want to become, right? Who do you want to become today? I think you should ask yourself that question. You can type in the chat box, who do I want to become? It continues by saying, it says, I will concentrate my thoughts for 30 minutes daily upon the task of thinking of the person I intend to become, thereby creating in my mind a clear mental picture of that person the first step to achieving anything is to become very clear of what that is what is it that you want to achieve in your life I think it's high time that you become very clear on that thirdly 
you know, I think this is more like an affirmation. So that affirmation for self-confidence formula says, I know, I know through the principle of auto-suggestion, any desire that I persistently hold in my mind will eventually seek expression through some practical means of attaining the object back of it. Therefore, I will devote 10 minutes daily to demanding of myself the development of self confidence. Did you hear that? Through the power of auto suggestion. I think auto suggestion is what we call affirmations these days, right? So you say, spend 10 minutes every day affirming to yourself that you have self confidence, or at least you are determined to attain self confidence. Fourth, he says, I have clearly written down a description of my definite chief aim in life, and I will never stop trying until I shall have developed sufficient self-confidence for its attainment. Did you hear that? Did you hear when he said, never stop trying? Because look, whenever you make a decision to start on that journey, things are going to come up. Trust me, things are going to come up and you'll be like, wait, wait, what? where were you guys? So he says, I have clearly, so one way to improve your self-confidence confidence is to tell yourself that I have clearly written down a description of my definite chief aim in life and I will never stop trying. Someone says, never stop trying, never, ever stop trying until I shall develop, I shall have developed sufficient self-confidence for its attainment. I love the concept. I have a concept called building up. Sometimes when you have a dream, it could be something like, okay, you want a better job. And then right now you feel like, oh, you don't feel the confidence to go and interview. But then every day you visualize yourself getting the job. Every day you visualize yourself um, increasing your skills, getting better, you know, loving what you do every day. And you build it up to the point where you're like, look, it is time. And then you're just going to apply for the job. So I love the concept of build ups. And you always, it says, he says, never stop trying. And finally, the fifth formula for, for self um, confidence is it says I fully realize that no wealth or position can long endure unless built upon truth and justice therefore I will engage in no transaction who does not benefit all whom it affects I will succeed by attracting to myself the forces I wish to use come on now and the cooperation of other people I will induce others to serve me because of my willingness to serve others, I will eliminate hatred, envy, jealousy, selfishness, and cynicism by developing love for all humanity. Because I know that a negative attitude towards others can never bring me success. Did you hear that? A negative attitude towards others can never bring me success. I will cause others to believe in me because I will believe in them and in myself. Wow, this is amazing. And he continues by saying, I will sign my name to this formula, commit to memory and repeat it aloud once a day with full faith that it will gradually influence my thoughts and actions so that I will become a self-reliant and successful person. So this is a self-confidence formula. So if you're struggling with your self-confidence, I will suggest that you get this book Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Turn up, if you get the same version here, turn up to page 86 and, and read this self-formula, self-confidence formula. Sign your name to it and repeat it to yourself every single day. And just for um, a reminder, remember the first step is to be clear about your definite purpose. Right, be clear and write it down. The second step is to realize that any any thought you keep in your mind will finally materialize. So keep the right thoughts in your mind. The third step is a principle of auto suggestion, and that's what we call in our modern days because this was written in the nineteen thirties, right? So they have some words, and we're like, Ooh, "What is that?" So auto suggestion, I believe, is what we call affirmation. The principle of affirmation: so affirm to yourself that you. Are willing to develop a stronger self-confidence or you have a strong self-confidence and the fourth principle is the principle of journaling to write it down write your affirmations down so that you can repeat it to yourself every single day the fifth principle is to know that whatever you're going to achieve in life you cannot achieve it by yourself and you cannot achieve it hurting others you have to be willing to serve others 
and to be and to be willing for others to serve you as well understanding that life is about a win-win situation and it's never about me crushing everyone to get to the top it never happens that way for a long time and he says that by the end of this you should write it down and then you should sign your name to it oh my god this was such such this was so juicy this is so good did you love it if you loved it if you're just joining us we are just doing a quick review on the book think and grow rich and today we're talking about the self-confidence formula for those who suffer for me i've suffered for self um i've suffered from self you know lack of self-confidence for so many years until i discovered principles that helped me come out of it and if you are the same and you've been suffering from lack of self-confidence i recommend that you get the book think and grow rich by napoleon hill if you get the same version you can turn up to page 86 and read and practice this self-confidence formula it helped me and i'm sure it's going to help you so before we call it a day today remember the drill we always do our abundance affirmation because i believe that many of us i mean if you're here for me i'm all about um success mindset growth and you know just being well-being so i believe in being successful and helping others so i like to do my abundance um affirmation every single week so if you could just repeat after me that would be great so today we're going to do abundance affirmation <clears throat> on page if you get the book the abundance book and you turn to page 35 if you don't have the book that's fine i'm just going to you can just repeat after me so it says i am conscious of the inner presence as my lavish abundance i am conscious of the constant activity of this mind of infinite prosperity therefore my consciousness is filled with the light of truth come on now let's do it a second time excuse me I am conscious of the inner presence as my lavish abundance. I am conscious of my constant activity. Sorry, it says I am conscious of the constant activity of this mind of infinite prosperity. Therefore, my consciousness is filled with the light of truth yes your consciousness is filled with the light of truth if you're willing to allow the light to shine in so so this is another episode of rising above the average and what have you learned today did you learn something that helped to rise above your challenges did you have something that strengthened your heart and inspired you to continue and never give up we are rising above the average every single time and no matter what comes our way we are just going to rise above it and we are going to crush it every single time so look challenges are always going to be there that is life but we can choose what we can do about it and we here on this platform if you're on this platform it's because you want you're not like everyone you want to rise above the average so we rising above the average we always keep the vibe high and always rising no matter what and look i am a sister on your journey i'm your girl on the journey and i am looking forward to sharing with you you know nuggets concept insight inspiration motivation and we and expect to have authentic conversations here where we can talk about you know the real challenges that face us and how we can rise above the average i'm so glad that you gave me the opportunity to serve you today and if you've learned anything from from this um live please share a comment with me below and if you're someone you're interested in mindset or you're interested in building your business please check out ask i Learn anything where i share with you concept to help you discover your purpose and also how you can start your business easily simply <clears throat> and step-by-step -step guidance and i'm so happy to have you know had this few minutes with you here and i hope that you got something from it so i'm going to see you next week same time remember 11 a.m british standard time here in the uk and i love you all and until we meet again please always remember to rise above the average 
बाय